This video is inspired by a feed that we seen on TikTok from Mr. Krim 3. Shout out to Mr. Krim 3. Slave rebellions and protests were not helping enslaved Africans in America gain their freedom. And this led to them devising other forceful ways of obtaining their freedom. After several attempts and ideas, it didn't take long until the Underground Railroad system was created between the mid 18th to early 19th century. With the help of abolitionists and freed Africans, secret escape routes were created to help the Africans escape harsh conditions in the South and attain freedom in the North or in Canada, where they would be given land and jobs to help them start their new lives. The routes were properly known as the Underground Railway, also known as the Underground Railroad. The economic impact of so many black people escaping slavery during this time and the labor force on the plantations owned by white enslavers began to take its toll on the production and income. It did not take long before the anti-abolitionists came up with reverse underground railroad systems. This little known system where escaped slaves were recaptured and brought back to their plantations or sold to new owners was a system that was created by the whites at that time. Unfortunately for the Africans, sometimes it didn't matter if they were freed or not. They were still subjected to the atrocities of the reverse underground railroad system. This inhumane system was implemented after the Fugitive Slave Act. The reverse underground railroad system became very successful and many anti-abolitionists disguised themselves as abolitionists eager and ready to help so-called fugitive slaves. Many of the recaptured Africans were trapped in houses, attacked and injured to prevent them from moving. A few were killed by the whites for resisting. Can you remember Kunta Kinte, how they chopped off his foot? Well, unfortunately, that was very prevalent during the reverse underground railroad system and the recapturing of the so-called slaves. Soon, the underground railroad system became a dangerous route. Undeterred, many hopeful blacks risked their lives to escape into freedom anyhow. It took the courage of Aunt Polly Jackson, who was free, to help fight off anti-abolitionists and help Africans escape or hide to continue their trip to freedom. Aunt Polly Jackson, although middle-aged, she courageously fought off whites who captured free fugitive Africans. Aunt Polly, who was formerly enslaved herself, was fed up with the harsh treatment that she witnessed and received throughout her life. She got sick and tired of being sick and tired, so she took matters in her own hands and escaped to freedom, even at her advanced age. Through the Underground Railroad, she escaped and ended up in North Africa, settling in Ohio in a settlement known as Africa. Established near Ripley, Ohio, Africa was a settlement of escaped African Americans who had been offered land to settle. A map of what was once known as Africa, Ohio, today is known as Ripley, Ohio. The settlement was along the Underground Railway route and fugitives could decide to stay or continue up north after resting while. Anti-abolitionist Aunt Polly was offered land and settled in Africa, starting a small farm to sustain herself. As they escaped, so-called fugitives often passed through her land up north and she saw for herself the various attacks by the anti-abolitionists, realizing that they were not being helped by any external means, i.e. the laws of the day. Aunt Polly decided to take matters into her own hands and establish her own law to protect, rescue, and help the so-called runaway slaves. She dressed herself up as a weaker and a much older lady who would not be a threat or attacked, someone who had no value in the eyes of the whites, and she would basically be ignored and then she would lower the boom on their butts. For the anti-abolitionists, older people were of no interest and were often left alone. So she wisely took advantage of that. She carried a cloth, which she wrapped around her shoulder to hide her butcher's knife and a kettle of boiling hot water, and she didn't hesitate to use them. With her self-made kitchen weapons, 
Aunt Polly managed to fight off several slave captors along her way along the Underground Railroad route and chase them away like the cowards they were. The cowards always traveled in bunches with dogs and guns, giving them a huge advantage. Many of her attacks were at night and she often poured the hot water on the slave hunters while they couldn't see or even know where the attack was coming from. She used them on the dogs too to defend herself if she had to. After dealing with the anti-abolitionists, she hosted the so-called fugitives in her house and helped them with direction if they chose to continue their journey. Many of the so-called fugitives joined her in her strategy of attacking at night. This strategy became very successful. Soon, the legend of Aunt Polly became widespread and several similar attacks on white enslavers along the Underground Railroad began to happen. These defense strategies by Aunt Polly and her supporters scared the daylights of the enslavers and they had to rethink the capturing or the recapturing of the enslaved Africans. Attacks started to get more deadly, resulting in the death of many white slave hunters, but the tricks of Aunt Polly Jackson helped suppress the reverse underground railroad system. Aunt Polly Jackson was fearless. If you only knew how great you are, and you don't have to fear nobody or take a back seat to nobody, what could you do with your life? And we would like to dispel the myth that black people just sat back and took it during slavery. Many people fought back, and many people were victorious. And there are so many people who get credit for freeing the slaves. People like Abraham Lincoln, the abolitionists, the Quakers. However, black people paid a very big part in freeing ourselves and we get very little credit. Make no mistake about it. People like Aunt Polly Jackson and others whose names we don't know fought tooth and nail to end the unfair system of slavery in this country. We know about Harriet Tubman and others and they are well deserving in their credit, but there are people who did not stand by and just idly just accepted the slave system. That is a myth. So today on this video, on this channel, we pay homage to Aunt Polly Jackson. If you only knew how great you were, and that you don't have to take a back seat to nobody. The Black Excellence and Abundance Channel, where black history is every day.